everyone. Uh, I'm Samuel Elam once again here to uh, discuss how one can be successful. So the first thing is to, to set your goals. Uh, what is the difference between uh, a failed individual and successful individual? The one, both of them, they have got goals. The, the, the one who is a failure, he has got goals. And the one who is successful, he or she has got goals. But the difference is not in not having goals. The difference is not working for the goals. The successful individual is having goals. Besides, he is working for his goals. The failed individual, he is having goals, but he is not working for his goals. The second thing is focus. Uh, when, when you take the prism, on, uh, you, you hold it uh, on a paper. The paper will be burned down because the, the, the rays of the, uh, the, the rays, they are converted into the fire because of the prism. So, uh, if you take the paper to the rays of the sun, it cannot uh, fire down the paper, like uh, the paper cannot be fired down. But when you hold the prism, prism will focus the rays collectively and will fire the paper. So the one who, the, the one who is focused in his activities, he can be successful. See, the train, the train, when the train is going, the train is going quite straightforward. It does not get stops in so many locations as bus is taking stops in different locations. Therefore, it is reaching the destination faster. The plane is faster than the train is because the train is sometimes getting some, some uh, stops in some uh, provinces or some states. But the plane is not taking at all. Therefore, it reaches the destination faster and its fare is higher than the fare of the train is. The, the, the fare of a train is higher than the fare of a bus is because of being focused. The third thing is don't drown yourself in past. Some people, they are always discussing about the wealth of, wealth of their family members, the wealth of their ancestors, the wealth, the, the wealth they had in the past. The problem is when you discuss yesterday, today, when will you plan for tomorrow? So if you keep discussing yesterday, today, you will lose the energy and time to plan for tomorrow. The fourth thing is continuous development. Some people lose the ambition to continue for uh, MBA after bachelor and to continue for MPhil after master and to continue for PhD after uh, MPhil. Some people think PhD is the highest grade for one individual to get and then there is no need. But the case is, if someone wants to be successful, shall polish his or her skills on a timely basis. Uh, yearly, we have to get training activities. We have to sit with uh, the, the, the professionals of a field to learn from their experiences, to learn from their knowledge. I'm going to share the story of one person who was working with a company uh, where he was uh, cutting the trees. He worked there for five years, but there was no increment in his salary. Daily he was cutting uh, two trees with the X he was using. Later on, the company hired another person and within the two years, the second person got increment in his salary. The second person was also cutting the trees. So the first person complained and went to the HR that I have been working in the company for five years and the second person is doing the job for two years, but he has got the increment and I haven't got any increment for the five years. The company said, we are result based company. We are result oriented company. The one who produces a lot of results, we are definitely increasing his her salary. The person was not clear. He was not satisfied 
with the answer of HR and he went to his colleague who recently received increment and I asked him, how did you get the increment? He said, see, I have been cutting five trees on daily basis. And you know, every day I am coming to cut the trees, I am sharpening my X. I'm sharpening my X. And what about you? How long have you been sharpening your X? And how many trees are you cutting on daily basis? So in order to be successful, we have to learn new skills. We have to adjust ourselves with the new technologies. How to be successful? Keep dreaming. Do not stop dreaming. Uh, the more you dream, the more you will continue to find out the ways to achieve your dream. Like, let me tell you about myself. I recently started uh, dreaming uh, to start an airline. Like, for example, Elam's airline. And I started to study how Virgin uh, started their airline. Richard Branson, how Richard Branson started his airline. I studied one of an uh, uh, individual from Bangladesh who started his airline in UK. I studied his background in how he started the airline. So when you are dreaming, like some people say, I'm dreaming a lot, but I'm not getting anything. So it is not a matter of dreaming. It is a matter of working for your dream. When you dream, please work for your dream. Search out about your dream. Find out about your dream. So it is not only dreaming, working for your dream. Next is think big. Think big. Like in uh, a lot of Asian countries and even some modern countries, uh, you will find beggars. They are asking for money. Some beggars are asking five for like five rupees, ten rupees, fifteen rupees. But I remember, I'm in a, a beggar who was asking for five liters of oil, for five liters of petrol, for five liters of uh, diesel. He was just coming out with a gallon, and he was asking people, "Just purchase me five liters of." Uh, petrol, five liters of diesel. That is enough for me. So see, compare this beggar with the beggar who is asking five rupees or six rupees or ten rupees. He was begging, but he was asking for big amount rather than asking for small. Next is passion and struggle. You will be successful at what you are deeply uh, in, in love with. I'm telling you the story of Joseph uh, Conrad. Joseph Conrad was a Polish. Even at age of 20, he was unable to speak a word of English. He was traveling and came to United Kingdom. When he came to the United Kingdom, he started learning English. Now he is famous in the United Kingdom as one of the top novel writers. His novels are so much famous in the United Kingdom that once an English student goes to his professor in the university and telling the professor that I want to learn how to write better stories novels or literature you know what the answer is the professor says study the novels of joseph conrad see joseph conrad is not a a, a british uh, by, by, uh, by by himself he is a polish he came to United Kingdom, but he was so much in love with English that he learned it and struggled for the improvement and so that he became so much popular being one of the famous novelists in the United uh, Kingdom. Number eight. So if you are going to be successful 
offer more than you are expected. Let me ask you, which supermarket or hypermarket you are purchasing the items from? The answer will be from the supermarket which is having a lot of offers. The, the, the supermarket which is uh, having special packages. People are attracted by the supermarkets which are having a lot of offers. They are offering some special type of tickets, some special type of basket sizes. The same is applied to an individual who is working with an organization. We have got some employees who are working from 8 to 4, 9 to 5, 9 to 6. But we have got individuals in our organization who are working from 8 or 9 till the work is finished. Until the work is not finished, the individual employee is working so that the work is not left for tomorrow. So this individual will receive much more comparatively to the individual who is working from eight to four. So some, most, sometimes some employees say, I am limited to the job descriptions. I cannot work more than that. Such people cannot be kept by the organization for longer. Next is becoming master of 10,000 hours. If you want to be specialized in one field, like you want to be master of that field, what you have to do is to invest 10,000 hours in that field. Whatever that field is. The next is manage your emotions. Who is successful in, uh, individual? The one who has got good control of his emotions. We have got, uh, I will be making another video on emotional intelligence. If you check the record of accidents taking place in the world, you will find out that this person, before an accident, he had some type of argument with his boss, with his colleague, with his manager, with his subordinates, with his like um, customers, family members, and then the accident took place. So who is a successful individual? The one who is having control over his or her emotion. The next is who is 11, uh, who is successful? The one who is helping others. So this word is the word of give and take. If you want to receive, you have to distribute. I'm going to share a story of two pious uh, Muslim individuals, Ibrahim Adham and Shafiq Balkhi. Shafiq Balkhi came to Ibrahim Adham and said, please give me your prayers. Please give me your duas. I'm going to start a business and I'm going to travel for a long journey, so I need your um, spiritual support. Ibrahim has given him the spiritual support, made dua for him, In Shafiq Balkhi started his traveling. And as you know, Shafiq told him that I will be returning like after a very long time because I'm going on a long journey to make some business. As today, people are traveling from Nepal to India, from India to Canada, US, UK, or to Dubai, to Saudi Arabia, like to diff different other countries for employment, for business activities. That time, people were traveling to Iraq, Baghdad. They were traveling to like um, uh, Syria, current Syria, D Damascus. To work there, to to make their uh, uh, um, to 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 start their business activities there, or they were traveling to Bukhara, Samarkand, Termes, this side, to Central Asia. Uh, after a week, Shafiq returned back. So Ibrahim was astonished. Shafiq went for a long journey, but he returned just in a week, couple of days, and he asked uh, Shafiq. 
Shafiq, you said you are going for a long journey, but you return in very short period of time. Why? Shafiq said, Sir, when I started my journey, I was passing a desert. In the desert, I saw an injured bird. That injured bird uh, attracted my attention. And I was asking myself how this bird is being fit. So I was waiting for a few minutes. I saw another bird coming and uh, bringing food for the bird which was injured in feeding that bird. So I said, no need to go that much long because God is giving you at any condition, even if you are a bird in the desert. So I returned back. You know what the answer from Ibrahim Adham was? Ibrahim said, Shafiq, you don't have to be the injured bird. You have to be the bird which was giving food to the injured bird. The next is how to be a successful 12. Adjusting yourself with the current situation. Adjusting oneself with current situation. When Napoleon was uh, in making victory in India, he sent a letter to Fateh Ali Shah of Iran. You know, in all Iran, there was no one to translate the letter from French into Persian. So they sent the letter from Tehran to Baghdad where they had the consulate general so that if anyone can translate the letter in Baghdad in Iraq and send back the translation to them. One of the failures of companies, individuals, is not adjusting themselves with the current situation of the world. See, for this pandemic, the world was not ready. In one small uh, virus, put the word at big threat. The threat, it was not in, 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 in the mind of any corporate. Any, it was not part of any political agenda. Small virus which cannot be seen, put the word, halted the word, stopped the word for more than three months. Millions of people are infected. So the world was not ready for infectious diseases the next one is if you want to be successful save your energy you are the pilot for your family you are pilot for your organization if you are leading your organization so if you spend your energy at unnecessary things you cannot focus on strategic uh, um, strategic level of your organization. Sometimes people are unnecessarily spending much more of their time in social media discussing political things. If you are discussing political things in social media, you are promoting agenda of a political party or polit politician. You are benefiting them. And you know, the, the, the politicians have got their own business of politics. When individuals are promoting their business for free, they are involved in a business where they have no share on the, the, the time they invested in. So this is one-sided way. You are invested in uh, promoting the politician's agenda, but you are not going to be benefited for that. So it is better to focus on the things which can promote our business, which can promote our health, which can promote our learning, which can promote our uh, learning new skills. Next is uh, manage your thoughts. In order to be healthy, people are taking different menus, different uh, diet uh, regimes they are uh, following. They are taking the ideas of uh, uh, diet specialists, what to eat, to be strong, what to be, what we to be healthy. The same is the case for your mind. 
what things you have to give as input to your mind to keep it which videos you have to watch on youtube which books you have to study which skills you have to gain in order to be successful if you are daily involved in negative things you are watching negative videos you are just occupied by people they are spreading fear how can you produce positivity and finally the 15th um, point is how to be successful is managing your words whether you are writing emails you are chatting with someone you are speaking to someone before producing a word think twice what will be the feeling when the person hears this word from my mouth or what will be your feeling when someone uses these words to you if they are negative definitely the other person will be feeling the same negative negativity i hope you enjoyed up to now with me if you uh, kindly uh, kindly uh, like comment and share this video with others so that i'm uh, motivated to make more videos to you thank you so much